Are you tired of missing out on huge trading profits because you don't know how to draw trend lines correctly? In this video, I'll teach you the most advanced and proven techniques for drawing trend lines like a seasoned trader so you can maximize your gains and dominate the market. Say goodbye to guesswork and hello to success. You don't want to miss these game-changing tips, so watch until the end and unlock the secrets of trend line mastery. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice. It's all for informational purposes only. To begin, let's define a trend line and look at our first example on Amazon. Currently, we've selected the 15 minute time frame. However, the strategy can be used on any time frame available. Essentially, a trend line represents a level of support or resistance during an uptrend in the market. During uptrends, the market moves upwards, experiencing slight pullbacks and then continues to rise, repeating this pattern. This repetitive process creates a series of highs and lows that we as traders can utilize to draw trend lines. It's important to observe price action closely whenever a price is approaching the trend line, which in this case is respected. For this example, we could have entered our buy trade after the third touch confirming the trend line. After the close of a strong bullish engulfing candle, we could have entered the buy trade with a stop loss below the recent swing and aim for a one to two risk to reward. Let's take a look at another example. On the chart, we have the Euro USD on an hourly time frame. The current approach is to identify three significant points that align and connect. It's important that we disregard the insignificant highs and lows and only focus on the most evident tops and bottoms in the market to create a clear and accurate trend line. After the third time price action interacted with the trend line, it has been established. If we take a closer look at the price action, we could have entered our trade after the three bearish candles. Enter your sell trade with a stop loss above the recent swing. For this example, I'll set my stop loss at 32 pips and my take profit at 64 pips. By combining trend lines with candlestick analysis, we're able to enter the trend with a high level of accuracy. Now let's take a look at the characteristics of an ideal trend line. An ideal trend line is found in the market with ample volume and exhibits three clean touches with reasonable spacing between each touch. Additionally, it's preferable for the trend line to form a near 45 degree angle or less. While using the candle wicks is recommended, occasionally including the candle closes with the trend line is acceptable. Once you discover a trend line with these characteristics, congratulations, you've identified an ideal trend line. Let's take a look at another example. On this chart, Ethereum on a 15 minute time frame. I've already marked the trend line and demand zones for this example. When price action is approaching the trend line for the third time, it's important to pay close attention to the price action. You'll notice the double bottom formation and breakout of the pattern. Enter your buy trade with a stop loss below the recent swing and aim for one to two risk to reward. Now these trades were examples of trend continuation trades using trend lines. However, there's another side which is trend line breaks, which we'll be covering next. If the price revisits the trend line, it's essential to observe the price action before making any decisions. Will, will the price use the trend line as support or resistance and bounce off of it? Or will it break through the trend line? To determine the likelihood of a bounce, closely monitor the price action as it approaches the trend line. If the price smoothly approaches the trend line while remaining in an overall uptrend, we can expect a bounce. Conversely, if the price was previously making higher highs but is now forming clear lower highs as it aggressively approaches a trend line, we might anticipate a trend line break. Trending, tra you know, trading a trend line breakout requires a strategic approach. Instead of rushing into a trade the moment the price breaks out of the trend, it's advisable to wait for a retest. Let's take a look at another example. And hey, if you guys are enjoying this content, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell so you get notified on my future videos. All right, let's get back to it. So on the chart, we've got the BTC USD on the five minute time frame. From the trend line, you can see that we were in a downtrend. However, once the price approached the demand zone, you'll notice that price action bounced back and broke the downline, down, downtrend line. It's important to wait for the price to break and well, it's important to wait for the price to come back and retest the trend line. Often with these zones, they will work as both support and resistance for price. 
the retracement provides a more optimal entry point for our buy trade. Enter your buy trade with the stop loss below the recent swing and aim for a 1 to 2 risk to reward. Alternatively, you can also aim for the next area of market structure. Let's take a look at another example. On this chart, we have the meta platforms on a 4 hour time frame. From price action, we can see that we are currently in an uptrend forming higher highs and higher lows. You'll notice that we had a strong break of our trend line and now we are waiting for a retest. By waiting for the price to come back and retest the trend line, forming a new swing low or high, you can gain more confidence than the trend has indeed changed. After the strong bearish scandal that broke the structure, we could have entered our short position with a stop loss above the recent swing and aim for a 1 to 2 risk to reward. Now here's a valuable tip that professional traders often employ to avoid false breakouts and, and simplify their trading approach. Instead of drawing regular lines, we can utilize the rotated rect rectangle tool to create a zone. You will notice that this is especially useful for those instruments that have a lot of large wicks and by identifying the trend line zones, which have already experienced three touches. We can wait for a retest and bullish price action before entering a long position. This approach enhances our confidence in the trade as we have observed a genuine breakout within the trend line zone. Now let's explore additional ways to, you to trade using trend lines and multiple time frame analysis. On this chart, we've got the USD yen on an hourly time frame. You'll see that the trend line was respected with a large wick on the hourly time frame. Now we can move to a 15 minute time frame and look for our entry. You will notice strong bullish volume away from that zone. You can enter your long trade and your stop loss below the recent swing and set your take profit at two times the risk. This, can, this candlestick formation away from the ten line, trend line on the higher time frame can give us confidence to enter our long position. All right? Hey, if you guys st still have it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified of all my future videos. Now let's take another look at an example with multiple time frames, right? On this, on this chart, we've got the GPP USD on the hourly time frame. First, from price action, we can see from the chart that we are currently in a downtrend forming lower lows and lower highs. You'll notice that we had a break of our trend line. So next, we are switching to our 5 minute time frame and enter on the retest of the zone and bullish momentum. This again can be done by looking at the candlestick formation. You'll notice that the price consolidated above our trend line and we could have entered our buy trade on the close of the bullish candle. Enter your buy trade with a stop loss below the recent swing. And as an additional tip, I would recommend using the ATR for placement. Like for this example, I'll set my stop loss at 25 pips and my take profit at 50 pips. By combining trend lines with candlestick and multi time frame analysis, we're able to enter the uptrend with a high level of accuracy. So the strategy works on different time frames and instruments in the market, so feel free to test it yourself against the instruments that you like trading, okay? And keep in mind, not all trend line breakouts and continuations are successful as technical analysis does not guarantee absolutes. Now, the strategy in this video is completely free to use, but if you're looking for an amazing premium indicator, I personally use Lux Algo Premium for my trading, and I highly recommend it to anyone that wants more success in the markets. I've got a link to it in the description below, so make sure you check it out. And if you want to see the trades that I'm actually making, like this one that I recently posted that got a 70% return, check out my free Telegram channel and join my all-access Patreon. Links to those are in the description below as well. If you want to become a more profitable trader, make sure you check out this next video on the screen. I'll see you on the next one.